Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to do a multi-site setup in Drupal. So multi-site setup means we will be having a same code base but different database for each site that we are going to see now. First, we need to have a uh, domain for each site. So now I'm going to create a three site. So we will be having three domains. So I'm going to create all the three domains now. So here when you see, uh, so this is plain Drupal instance. I just downloaded and I'm just having it here. I don't have the site is installed here. So only the folder is extracted and kept here. And now what, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create a vhost for this. So this is the path which I'm going to use. So for this, I'm going to create a three domain. So one is apple.local orange.local and mango.local. So I'm going to create a of them, but local. So this, the folder will be pointed to our new Drupal installed folder. And then next, orange. Okay. And then next, mango, okay. Now all the domains are created successfully. So you can see here, so the server name with the directory, which it is pointing to. So all of them are created. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to the, this is the site folder. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sites folder ls so here you will be able to see a file called example.sites.php so i'm just going to copy this as example.sites.php to sites.php so in this sites.php file we are going to configure how many domains as multiple sites we are going to have and those will be pointed to which folder all those we will be having in this file so let me go and edit it sites sites.php so go at the bottom of the file and here you have to mention a variable called dollar sites so in this you have to mention so you have to mention your domain name so first one is apple.local so i'm just making this to point to the uh, default folder so i'll tell you what is default folder here and then next one is orange. Orange, it will be pointed to orange folder. And then mango, that will be pointed to mango folder, okay. So now we created three domains and three folders for us. So when you see your under sites, when you do ls, you will be able to see default folder. So this will be pointed to apple.local. And now I'm going to create uh, two more folder, one for orange, one for uh, mango. So create mkdir orange and then mkdir. Uh, next one is mango. So now all the three folders are created. So for each three sites, we have a separate folder. So when it comes to multi-site, the files will be the same. Database will be the difference, right? So since we have different databases, we need to have a separate sitting.php for all the three sites. So what I'm going to do, when you do ls of mango, you will not have anything because we have to copy the sitting.php from default to this folder. So I'm going to copy default sitting.php sitting to the mango folder with the name of settings.php. So I'm going to do the same for orange. And then next one is services.yml. Services.yml. So this will be pointed to mango slash services.yml. So the same will be for orange. Orange. So now this is done. Now let me uh, restart the BAM because we just created a vhost, right? So once that is created, we need to restart the server. Let it get restart. 
Once that is done, we will start the installation. Here uh, you can see under now, if you go to Mango folder and do ls, you will be able to see services.yml and setting.php file. In the same uh, way, you will be having for orange also. So ls, you will be able to see service.yml and setting.php. And then next, uh, let's see, vamp restarted. Yeah, vamp is restarted. Now I will go to apple.local, orange.local. And next one is mango.local. So all will take you to the installation page. So if you want to create a database before installing the site, you can create three databases: apple, mango, and then orange. So for me, the DB will be created automatically. So I'm not going to create a DB separately here. If you don't have any permission for the user which you are using here, you have to create the DB first and then you have to configure it here, okay? So first, let me install the Apple site. So here you have to give the DB name. So let me confirm whether I have DB already with that name or not. Okay, I don't have any DB orange I have. Let me delete this. to just delete this database and that's it. I don't have apple DB here. Okay. So now I will give apple and then root enter. Now the site is started installing. Let it complete and then we'll go to the next site. So now the site is installed and I'm going to give the site name as Apple and then username password. Now the Apple site is installed successfully and the site is loading. And next we'll go to the orange. So I'm going to give continue. And profile, save and continue, standard profile. And here you have to give the database name. So I'm going to give orange root, save and continue. So if you, when you give orange root something like that, so when you hit the uh, apple.local, so the apple.local domain will be pointed to the default folder of folder, which is inside the sites folder. Orange.local will point to the orange. So wherever you will have a site specific files like setting.php or you can even keep the modules inside your orange folder, default folder, mango folder. So all will be working. I will be showcasing everything in this video. Please continue watching it. Now the site is installing, let it complete. And now the orange site is also installed. So I'm going to give this site name as orange. Username, password. And that's it. This is done. And let me go to the next site that is Mango and then save and continue. Choose profile standard. DB. Mango root. The okay. 
Now this site is also installed. Let me give a name for this. That is Mango. Admin A A. And then site is installed. So we have three sites. One is Apple, Orange, and then next one is Mango. All those are installed successfully. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how the setting.php file is. So when you go to orange and when you open the setting.php, at the bottom, you will be able to see orange folder setting.php is pointed to the database of orange. That is how all the remaining folders uh, will be configured for default. So for default, we configure it will be having Apple database. And then each folder will have a file. So in each folder, uh, in each site, whatever files you're uploading, that will be site specific. In Mango, we will be having one files folder. And then Orange, we will be having a, a sites folder. And next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, show you how to install a module. So I'm just going to composer require Drupal slash um, devil. Now the devil module is downloaded. So if you want to uh, enable this only on the site of Mango, what you have to do? Crush en devil. And then you have to mention the URA. So that is mango.local. So what will happen if you if you're having a multi-site setup, you have to mention the URI whenever you are running any command so that Drupal will understand you have to do these changes on this particular database domain or on all the three sites. So if you give like this, now the devil module is enabled. So go to may go site go to extend we'll check it so here so devil module is enabled but when you go to orange so here devil module will be there because it's downloaded generally and that will not be enabled because we enabled only on the Mango site. So the files will be all the common concrete modules will be available inside modules devil folder. Okay. And then we can have a, a site specific custom modules. And then you can even have a site specific theme, everything. Whatever you want, you can have everything site specific. Okay. So let me show you how to do that. So let me create a folder called modules. And then inside that let me create one more folder it is custom so in this custom i'm going to keep uh, any custom module which i already have i'm just going to use this for this mango site so now i have custom batch for custom module in only on the mango site not on the other sites so now let me go and refresh here. Custom batch. So you will be able to see the custom batch module is here. So I am enabling it here. But when you come to orange.local and refresh, so we will not be able to see the module because we copy pasted it only on the uh, Mango site custom folder okay so in this way you can have site specific custom module even under here you can create a theme folder and you have you can have a themes profiles whatever you want you can have it here okay so that's it so this is how you how to set up a multi-site setup in your drupal instance and that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel thank you bye